And he just hasn't been able to uh, get many of those to go down. What a spin move here by wow. Bolt right and he finishes. Move it all. You know, I like this. East to west. Swing the basketball. It's a Lation game, but you wouldn't know it by the way these guys are playing. Bolt right, look at him go right at Terrence Shannon. Napier with the ball fake. Now he pulls up for three, short. Napier to Boatwright. He lets it go. Oh! And was he fouled? Wow. Shooting three. And you talk about oh. the scene and the stage being set, Dave Strader. The kid is just back off of sitting out because of NCAA violations. And talk about being thrown into the fire. And we'll see what the kid is made of. Got to make the first one. Goes through his same routine, a deep breath, spins the ball, and knocks it down. Boltwright knocks down all three. Welcome to the show, Ryan Boltwright. And we talked about playing three games in three days, and here on the third day, these teams are going to overtime. Boltwright with a crossover dribble. Puts it up and in. Talk about a floater. And transition buckets, another block shot. I'm not sure who had that. Look at this kid. Oh, oh my goodness. Ryan nice. Boatwright. And it ended up in the hands of Lamb. Here's Boatwright. Oh. He looked good in the first half and continues his solid play. He's got 10. Jimmy's impact when he was with us, incredible, but extraordinary that he has passed away. Look at Boatwright and one. Everybody to the offensive end and terrific push and bounce acceleration on the street. You can see the heels there. Jimmy Burr right on top of it. What a combo these two little guys are in the backcourt. Play together, play off the ball. And now some of that pressure from Mike Anderson's team. Position and hands. Oh, boat right. Great body control. Oh, pretty. The empty side. And use the rim to seal off. How about a little? Boat right. Launches and hits a three. Almost picked up his pivot foot. Here's Boat right. High floater. Wow. Pretty. Harvard, I believe, of the ACC. Now. What does that do? Boat right knocks it down. Oklahoma State pit. Terrific doubleheader on ESPN2 on Saturday afternoon. And it is Look at boat right. a game in Madison Square Garden, by the way, is pit. The shot because he uses the rim as kind of a shield. Boat right for three. Got it. He used to come down and help. That's why he hasn't had to kick the basketball out. Boat right leans in and connects. Mm -hmm. Did by Smith. Boat right pushing it. And converts. Boatwright open. Money. Three are three point attempts. So you're right. He is a specialist at that. Boatwright pull up. Good. First two points. Boatwright. Well, floater off the mark. On the mark. Make that. Boatwright will try it. And he knocks it down. Blow by by Boatwright. Follows his own shot. Nice with their prowess on the glass. So three quick points off the bench for Olander. Boatwright pick the pocket. Boy, he's got some serious ups. Now we've seen Ryan Boatwright do that all season long. Puts tremendous pressure on the opposing team's point guard when he comes into the basketball game. UConn is just 15th in the Big East in turnover margin, but they forced a big one there. Well, you remember last season when Shabazz Napier was the guy that came in and put the ball pressure, gave Kemba Walker the rest. This season it's Ryan Boatwright. He comes in, that allows Shabazz Napier to slide to the two, and he's got just tremendous ferociousness on the on-ball defense. The Napier, he penetrates, thought about going inside, nothing there. Boatwright with the pull-off and knocks it down. Nearly stolen by Pointer. Boat right for three. That's a dagger there. Two point victory. 
They had Kemba Walker that day and he had 19. He'll take the victory over this eighth ranked team as Boatwright. As Jim Calhoun said, it shows no fear, it takes it right to the rack and he's going to the line. A missed opportunity for West Virginia and it hurts at the other end as Boatwright buries the three. And a steal by Boatwright. And Boat right after the steal, UConn's done it with their defensive intensity. And you wonder if they will put Kalichla back in from the elbow. Boat right. All set up with a pass fake. Little shield. Boat right. Another little runner. Been a long time, Ryan. Welcome back. Boatwright explodes on the baseline. Whoa! There's some three. Oh, spin. Wow, Boatwright. He's got six now. Spin. Slice. Dice. Quickness from end to end. Fabulous ball handling. Well, Jim Calhoun said earlier. He could be a superstar, there's no doubt about that. Robbery by Boatwright, and the finish. Three standing still, Mobley with the rebound. Another turnover, Boatwright. Bad pass by Edwin, easy steal by an alert Boatwright, and then silly foul in the backcourt. Boatwright gets a step, the runner off the glass is good. Boatwright, quickness again. And he hits again. Transition shot, he's a deadly three-point shooter. Boatwright, the pull-up, left alone, gets it to go. A lot of iron there. Losing streaks, Connecticut going without the Hall of Famer, Jim Calhoun. Boatwright, oh my, the runner off the window. And, and, and Rutgers has been up and down, and it's because they have three guards who are all freshmen handling the ball and doing most of the damage. Speaking of a freshman handling the ball, doing damage. <laughs> and the rebound deflected around the boat, right? Look at the speed. Woohoo! The blow by. Wow, Rick Matino furious. And we'll see that in the game. You'll get that penetrate. Nice read by Boatwright. Gang held the ball way too long. Boatwright manages to score with Ware trying to slap it away. Kid like, knows how to protect it, doesn't he? Boatwright with help. Oh, they lob it up for Boatwright, and look at him get up there. <laughs> Off the feed from Lamb, and working on the offensive glass. Boatwright led the five-man rush. They were side by side. <laughs> Boatwright got fouled shooting a three. He made it and was hit by Justice. So a chance for four for Boatwright as we send you back to Reese Davis. Boatwright missed the first six. Necessitated by that NCAA suspension. He hits that one. opens in their man-to-man. -man. Their focus, their consistency on the defensive end as you see Boatwright hit that three. Today for player of the year in the Big East. Here's Boatwright, and Ryan Boatwright, a key player for Connecticut. They continue to compete. And Marquette built that lead with Oriaki and Drummond on the bench with two personal fouls each. A three from the corner for Boatwright, so a good start for the Huskies. Here's Boatwright. And that's his second three since intermission. Little momentum now for the Huskies as they're back within 12. Boat right for three and a timeout called by Jay Wright. Mm. They've gone four games in a row without being in double figures and scoring before being in double figures the last three. Boat right took it away from Hilliard. And all of a sudden, Connecticut is down by only two. Cheek is there, pitches on him now. 
Go right over cheek. Mm. Tough shot and good D as well. When he is really on. Boat right a deep one. Ryan Boat right for three. The people in circus love their own. Oh. And they really get involved. Boat right again. Love. The man. love. They don't have that love. They don't have that love. They're not lacking the threes. That'll give you not a little tonight. love. That'll give 20 minutes of play. Well, he's got to get in the lane also. He heard you. He Boat heard right you. for three. As Boat right knocks it the team. It's going to be a little danger time now for sure. Connecticut. They're going to start putting some points on the board. Boat right. Makes it a nine point game. Again, his first two coming off 24 in the win against DePaul. Another lob that one too hard to handle, but followed up by Boatwright for two. Against DePaul, but they're going to need his size against a big UConn front line. The runner is good from Ryan Boatwright. He has four. 20 minutes in the second half against Syracuse. They do that for 40 minutes. They can play with anybody in the country. It's just finding that 40 minute game and with 12. Henton's really been Providence's best player here tonight. And answered quickly by Connecticut. We have come to know and love. And how quickly that happens, who knows? Boat right with a steal. And the flush. <laughs> the Huskies have come in the pain. Well, and, and come off turnovers, a significant number. And when the ball is turned over here in the open area of the floor, it automatically leads to bad floor balance. That's something Jamie and I talked about pregame. Another one. And Boatwright able to put it in to stretch the lead to 10. Season. Boatwright gets into the lane, hangs and scores. Earlier this year, here's Boatwright, leaves it for Oriaki. Don't want to leave Boatwright open, a 40% three-point shooter, and he buries it to give UConn a five-point lead. Competitive spirit, though, from DePaul the last couple minutes, Dave. And a lot of that is Melvin on the offensive end, as we've got a four-point opportunity for Boatwright. Connecticut is seven of seven now from three-point land in the first half. Swatted out of there by Drummond, and Boatwright on the other end. He'll take it in for the one-handed throwdown. Remember, Boatwright on Midnight Madness actually beat Andre Drummond in the dunk contest. A number of other shots, and then the two freshmen hooking up. That is what ensues off that block shot. Andre Drummond, a member of the all-rookie team, leads the team in rebounding. But DePaul won three Big East games this year. That's more than they won the last three years combined as Boatwright gets in the bucket and lays it in beautifully. The Big East Championship. They won all five last year. Can they do it again as they beat the shot clock? Boat right with a floater is here in the building, just taking it in on the defender and throwing it down. It's been a quiet crowd. In fact, that should have gotten a better reaction. Boat right with a floater, got it. East Championship. The Mountaineers will be in the Big 12 next year for all sports. Boat right looked like he tripped as he spun. Well, I asked you the question. Somebody other than Lamb had to step up. Who would it be? It's been Napier to get UConn with an eight. Now boat right to the basket. Great reverse, and it's a six-point game. Lamb underneath, and there's just no room with Mello there. Now boat right with a floater. Rattles home. Missed the three. Boat right tracks it down. Driving on Trish. Contact. They count the bucket. Followed by a boo boo. There you go. Attack a little bit. A good defensive stop. Good bad. Guarding him. Bottom of the shot clock. That's what Boat you got right. to go. Got it. Good play. Get in the lane and be creative. In 30 to go. Boat right. Whoa. That's what you got to do. That's twice now. Chris Babb is guarding him. Number two. And a fine job for the most part. You know. 4-3, got it! Wow, a nice fill. Making yourself available by Boatwright. Well, it's gotten quite interesting, hasn't it? It sure has. Here in Louisville, Boatwright's three, and it's a six-point.